Do you know what I would do if someone got me this? Like this, that would be marriage, okay? Hello, my beautiful creative people. Today we are talking about 15 gift ideas for photographers. Now this might be my personal wish list, but I've included a lot of different things that you could get for the photographer in your life. And I've included like different price points. So if it's like someone you love, you could uh, spend that coin. And if it's someone that you just like a little bit, um, I've also included some gift ideas for you too. So let's jump right into it. So just a gift giving tip in general is that if you're getting somebody a gift who's really into tech or really into photography or stuff like that, you wanna get kits kits that come with a lot of pieces like photography accessories just get a bunch of them in that pack and I'm sure that they will love it so everything I'm going to talk about today is listed down below in the description I've made it super easy for you to purchase the perfect gift for that photographer in your life so let's just get right into it so the first gift idea is a tripod now this is perfect for someone who's a portrait photographer or a landscape uh, photographer and you want to get that perfect still shot or even somebody that is filming themselves like me would really love a tripod and I love this one in particular because it's 66 inches and it comes with something called a monopod which is really good for stabilizations in videos and in photos. So the second gift idea I have for you is kind of like a two-in-one. It's the perfect starter lens for a beginner photographer and this is really gonna elevate someone's work. If you wanna get on their good side, they're gonna love this gift. The first one is a 35 millimeter Tamron lens. It's my favorite lens. I use it for absolutely everything. It's really good for portraits and I'll leave it in the link below. The second best beginner friendly lens is a 50 millimeter um, lens and I'll leave that also in the link below. It's really good for detailed close up shots, especially if someone is doing product photography or portrait photography. I highly recommend this lens and it's not even that expensive. Should I start including the prices? I'll include the prices on the screen so you could know exactly how much everything is. So the third item on this gift ideas list is a lens for intermediate to advanced photographers. This lens is perfect for every single type of photography. It is a 18 to 35 millimeter Stigma art lens. I wanna make sure I'm getting that right. Sig <laughs> it is an 18 to 35 millimeter Sigma art lens and I've rented this lens so many times I just cannot commit to the price point. Um, but I will one day, but this lens is perfect for every single type of photography. And if you want to splurge on that special someone, this is definitely the lens to get. So number four is a portable backdrop. And this is really good for any type of photographer who likes to create their own sets. I love this backdrop in particular because it comes with everything that you need to set up a backdrop except for the backdrop itself. And even though seamless paper is really expensive, you could just use fabric. So you could go ahead, get this bundle for that person, get a few pieces of fabric and boom, they've got a creative set to shoot. Okay, number five is a good one and it is a full year subscription to Adobe. Do you know what I would do if someone got me this? Like this that would be marriage, okay? Um, number six is for anyone in general, but I feel like for photographers that are, that have been shooting for a little bit and they wanted to try something new, I would really suggest a film camera with film, of course. And I've linked to the one that I have. Film cameras are really special because I think it's like photography in its true form and you really get to value a photograph. And then when you go to print, um, the photos that you've taken, it's just a really special experience and I, I think that I've learned to love photos in a different way when I'm actually holding them in my hand. Number seven is an on-camera flash and this is really good for anybody who's doing event photography, um, if you're shooting at parties or if you're shooting at night, I would highly suggest getting an on-camera flash. You can also look at kits for gels that'll change the color of the flash and stuff like that. And again, I've linked everything down below for you. And number eight is a camera backpack. And I didn't realize how much I needed one until I started having to shoot multiple clients in one day. 
and I like this backpack in particular because it has a compartment for every single thing that you need if you're carrying multiple lenses or multiple cameras and it is a backpack so you're just like on the go and you could easily reach into that and grab what you need for your next shoot or an extra battery for the client that you're shooting right now. So number nine is really special because if it's for someone who's been thinking about photography but maybe hasn't made the leap of buying a camera yet. So I'm gonna link the camera that I use down below and I think it's the perfect beginner camera because it's small, it's compact, but depending on what lens you use, it could really get some beautiful photos. And number 10, kind of piggybacking off of number nine is a camera bundle. So that will come with this camera lens and two to three lenses. Number 11 is a ring light. This has elevated all of my photos and all of my videos. I'm using one right now and I just think that it really just saves you in the long run in terms of editing. Um, so I've linked the one that I previously bought below and I just think it's great, it's portable. I usually just leave it in its stand but you could pack it down and it comes with its own bag. Um, so it's easy to carry from shoot to shoot. Okay, number 12 is for art lovers. Chances are the photographer in your life is also an art lover and it is to buy them a one year membership to a museum in your city. Yeah, I think this gift is super thoughtful because you could go with them to museums a lot of the memberships have a plus one so it's a really good date idea and I don't know something about just seeing art I think it's really cute okay number 13 is a camera cleaning kit I still do not have one I need to purchase one myself but I feel like a camera cleaning kit is like buying like paper towels like nobody wants to buy it but we all need it so get that person a cleaning kit they probably don't have it get me a cleaning kit I need one <laughs> So number 14 is a camera strap. And I think this is really cool because you could kind of play around with which one you get depending on the type of person that you are buying it for. So it is kind of like a slightly personalized gift. I know there's a lot of um, Etsy stores that sell um, customizable camera straps. So you can definitely get like someone's name printed on that. That would be really cute. And yeah, just something to kind of personalize their camera. Okay, number 15 is on camera filter lenses. And I think this one is pretty cool because I've actually been seeing a lot of Instagram ads for this. And although you can edit videos to make it look like there's a cool camera filter lens on there, I think it'll be a really fun gift to let someone play around with lenses while they're shooting. So that is all. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what was your favorite gift idea and if any of them surprised you at all. I hope that you do get some value from this and maybe buy one of these gifts for your camera person, for your camera person, for the photographer in your life. And yeah, so happy holidays um, or whenever you're seeing this, happy day. <laughs> what? Na -na -na -na. Okay, um, if you're watching this, it might already be too late. <laughs> Don't lie to the people. <sighs>